Yeah, it started with the, the field hollers and the slave hollers in the South America and the deep traditions led African Americans to play instruments and when they would take the voice, put that thing through the instrument, that thing came out so bluesy and ooky and gooky and wonderful and amazing and ugly and nasty and beautiful at the same time, it made the whole world cry. Musicians like Louis Armstrong, they would come to Europe and people couldn't even believe it. It was like, how you make a trumpet scream and sing like that and make us cry? Because, you know, all respect to the classical composers who I love. I grew up listening to Shostakovich, Beethoven, Mark, uh, Mozart, Schumann, love them. That's a European tradition, but in America, when they heard it, they was like, yo, how do you, you're doing a blues scale and bending notes? We never did that before. So that's a uniquely American thing that makes people cry around the world and it came out of the anguish and the pain of suffering. It's the beauty of gift that you get from the suffering of slaves in America. And this thing is called the blues. It will touch you, it will heal you, it's cathartic, it will make you, it will give you life if you let it. This one is called Baltimore Crab Cakes because I'm from Baltimore City, a tough East Coast town. And it just gets dirty and grindy. And this is like, like a real whorehouse blues, you know what I mean? You couldn't even do this in church back in the day. It was illegal. You can turn this on your mouth and smack your face. You turn that off. Turn that old slut music off. But now we all know, oh, it's just jazz. But back then, you could not play it. So just get into this thing. This is called Baltimore Crab Cake. Yeah.